the benefits of painting with other artists is what you learn by observing their work and making new friends with the common struggles and rewards of painting from life and trying to simplify the complex. Another benefit is that members of Plain Air Artists of Central Kentucky also have great friends who welcome us to beautiful spaces. Kathy Wilson was our host in Danville. She's converted a large backyard into multiple mini gardens of sculptures and flowers. Every outdoor painting always seems to have unexpected inspiration and one corner of Kathy's yard is especially emotional and personal. I asked her to tell the story while she was baking treats for all of us. Well, I lost three close family members in less than 18 months. And it was the last one to die, died three months after my father to the day. And I don't know, it was just almost too much to handle or something. I had to have something to do to get me through the winter. So I just, when I go to bed at night, I would just get this vision of, I knew I'd have to design a garden again. And I would always get visions for my gardens. I could see it in my mind, what I wanted it to look like. I didn't just start digging and then it would come to me. I would get, I had a, a real good idea. And I thought, I'm going to do a prayer garden, a place where I can go and sit and pray and just meditate, and that's what I did. I designed a prayer garden, and it has things in it that, that remind me of my mother. She loved horse racing, and my father, and my brother, and what I did, the signs out there, a friend of mine, he owns City Art Signs here in Danville, and he made signs for me before for a physical garden, and I took the verses from a song that was sung at the funeral of each family member, and I picked the verse that depicted going up, going up to heaven, in the sky, you know, those I look yeah. for those words, and he made those signs for me. And I sit out there on the bench and I sing those songs. That's great. And I cannot sing. <laughs> that I is sing. great. The blue bottles are, um, if you ever saw the Ray Charles movie, and it, yeah, I don't know, it probably goes back to voodoo. I don't know. <laughs> I think it does actually. <laughs> but they uh, keep the bad spirits, they ward off the bad spirits. And so, the little blue bottles are hanging on the fence. Children or adults, they'll cut a flower, put it in a bottle, and say a prayer for somebody that's sick. You know, we had a real good friend who had a child that had a rare form of leukemia. And we all knew that child. The kids would go out there and pray for him. So, that garden has a lot of meaning. And there's always a good breeze blowing off the field there. And there see is the prayer flags. See, you can see them blowing from here. George, are you okay if I show you on video? Oh, I don't mind. <laughs> good thing, because here it is. <laughs> Oh, that is great. You know, like watercolor? The, watercolor, yes. Watercolor. It's got a long way to go. I have to blend all this together so that it's looking good though.